Word processing equipment has just been installed in our central office in Canberra and New South Wales State Headquarters in Sydney. You're probably wondering what word processing is. We can explain the concept more easily if we compare it with the different typing services currently available within the department. Janine is a typist using an electric typewriter or first generation typing equipment in one of central office's typing pools. She is currently typing a piece of correspondence on behalf of the minister which cannot show the slightest sign of author or typist corrections in its final form. The text is typed directly onto the paper. In other words, if a small typographical error is made, the entire document must be retyped. This makes Janine a little nervous and slower in her typing of ministerial correspondence than is normally the case. Our new word processing equipment makes this type of task much easier for Janine, since corrections are made on a visual display unit before the document goes to print. Since the new equipment largely eliminates typographical error, it offers great benefits for officers involved in the production of ministerial correspondence. For instance, faster return of your work, especially after retype, more accurate work, and less proofreading after retype. Approximately five years ago, the department purchased a number of more sophisticated typewriters which have a cassette recording and replay system that allows documents to be stored after initial typing and then retrieved for retyping. These machines are called memory typewriters and are also known as second generation word processing equipment since they were seen as the advent of a new era in typing services. Michelle is demonstrating the facility of recalling a document from a cassette. She calls up the document by a simple code number, makes the corrections on behalf of the clerk and sets the machine to print the final version automatically. As you can see, the operator does not have much to do whilst the machine is retyping. As with a manual or electric typewriter, the corrections are typed directly by the device onto paper. This means that the typist cannot get on with another piece of work. With our new third generation word processing equipment, the printer is completely separate to the visual display unit. In this way, another document can be typed or corrected whilst the original document is being printed. As in all other typing methods, third generation word processing begins at the input stage. You should always remember that when your work is first submitted for initial typing on this equipment, an operator types it into the system on a keyboard similar to that of any other typewriter. Word processing is not magic, at least not at this stage. The magic benefits of word processing are achieved after the document has been keyed in. Because standard paragraphs need only be keyed once for any number of printouts, only variations to this need be re-keyed after the initial input. The most effective uses for word processing in the department are longer, much edited or updated reports and submissions, ministerial correspondence and standard letters. You should direct these forms of correspondence to the word processing center. This will give you the following benefits. If you have work to be retyped, you get it back much more quickly and you do not need to proofread any section other than that which you have edited. The rest of the text remains the same. In this example, a letter written on behalf of the minister is to be sent to a number of different clients. The standard text has already been keyed into the machine's memory. Now the text of the letter is being corrected on the screen of a visual display unit. When this is completed, the variable information may be keyed in. In this case, different names and addresses are being added. Other variable information, such as amounts, dates, events, locations, etc., can also be added to a standard text using this method. It's clear that the work to benefit most by word processing is that containing standard text, input once, then edited when necessary. It's always necessary for you to fill out a word processing request form when submitting standard text for word processing. You'll find examples of this in the relevant section of the manual, which will be issued to you after this program. The forms have been designed to give a clear, written expression of your requests to a word processing operator. You should make sure the request is completed in full, 
No detail, however insignificant it may seem, should be omitted. You should also note that work attached to files is not acceptable to the word processing centre. As we are processing quite a few thousand standard letters per week in state headquarters, the file handling problems would be too great. You have a document keyed into the word processing system and wish to submit it for a retype. You should remember to use the standard correction symbols whenever correcting work which has been processed. You will find the standard symbols in the relevant section of the author manual. If you wish to correct work which has been processed, the document's name must be quoted in the appropriate section of the request form. The document name is similar to a library call number in that it identifies a particular document file from a disk which may contain up to 20,000 other documents at any one time. This departmental officer has neatly completed his request form and sends the document away for the corrections to be keyed in. But something is wrong because when the operator keys in the document name as stipulated, this message has appeared. The problem is that he's forgotten that documents are removed from the system on a regular basis. This allows us to keep our disks from being overloaded with unnecessary documents. Now to allay any misapprehension, just sit back and watch some of the more intricate editing features of work processing equipment. These features not only look attractive, but they help to ensure that you get back higher quality work returned more quickly. Word processing offers you these benefits. One, you have less time to wait for work. Corrections done on a visual display unit simply involves over typing before printing. Also, work which has been submitted for retype need only have the errors amended without retyping the whole page. Two, you avoid peak workloads. If your work is planned properly, peak workloads are avoided. You should plan well ahead when a long piece of work requires regular updating. Three, you have less proofreading. This applies particularly to work return for retyping. Since only the sections marked for correction within a document are retyped, the edited sections are the only areas of an entire document which need proofreading. Four, the presentation of your work is improved. When standard or form letters are typed by word processing, there is no disparity between the typefaces of the standard text and the information added. Five, you can store and revise documents. This is particularly useful for long manuals which are constantly updated. To get these benefits, one, complete the request form. Two, do not use shorthand. Three, list all special instructions. Four, write as legibly as possible. Five, use dictation whenever possible. Six, use standard correction symbols. And seven, keep urgent requests to a minimum. All urgent requests should be directed initially to the center supervisor. They must be kept to a minimum. If all requests are urgent, then no requests are urgent.